Hey everybody, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft, the Burning Crusade Classic, and our Tauren Warrior playthrough. Today is the day that uh, we go kill a ton of pirates. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna head over here. We're gonna do all the South Sea freebooter stuff. Big kill quest. Uh, I think there's other stuff going on here as well. We need pirate hats. We need Stolby's shipment. Should be a good time if. If we see other people kind of doing the same thing, we'll go ahead and group up. That'll make it really, really quick. But even if there's no one else around, we have a pretty fast kill rate, so we should be okay. Uh, it, it seems like it's going to take a long time because it's like 40 guys, but it's not going to take us that long. Uh, after that... Uh, well, we got level 49 stuff at the Dune Mall compound we can do. And, uh, and then I probably want to head back to Feralis for a little bit. Yeah, we've got some level 44, 45 stuff that I really want to get taken care of before we push too much further into Tanneris. I just... I know I want to do this. I just don't know if we're going to do anything else here before we progress a little bit more in Feralis. We will see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how long this takes us. And then it's really just a little hop, skip, and a jump over into Feralis. I hope you guys are doing well today. Thank you for clicking on the video and for choosing to hang out with me here for a little bit. I do appreciate it. And yeah, I think we'll just start fighting our way in. We'll just fight everybody. Alright, they are great runners, noted. We will be using Hamstring back here. Probably at around 50% would be a good time to put that up. Really don't want to give them the option to run that far if we can avoid it. Oh, did we not empty our inventory out? Yeah, that's not going to be great. Huh. Looking at our inventory, we don't have a ton of junk. I'm making enough gold on the auction house selling leather that I, I don't really care too much about throwing some of this stuff out. It's not really effective. I wouldn't advise anyone do it, but... When you're like me, and you make terrible mistakes, like not emptying your inventory out before leaving town on a big quest, you just kind of have to do what you have to do. Uh, I think that's good. Should give us some space. Scum covered bag. Yeah, let's go ahead and open that up. Uh, fine cheddar we can hold on to. I think we'll be okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Famous last words, right?
thought I had a nice thematic shot there of the uh, enemy camp, but yeah, these trees are busting up my camera angles. These rude trees do not want me to get a decent thumbnail. That is just rude. That's not bad. Yep, there it is. We also have a named guy down here. One of the wanted posters we picked up is down here as well. This guy is fine just to let us kill his buddy. He doesn't give a crap, apparently. Not a ton of people here, but there is a chance that we'll encounter somebody. No players in the- well, well, what is this? We do have a Blood Elf Hunter over here. They don't seem to be doing much at the moment. If they get moving and we see that they're fighting near us, we can uh, toss them an invite, but for now I'm just going to keep going. Pretty sure it's this building we need to go into for the shipment, so we're gonna bust into here. We missed two hamstrings in a row, that's unlikely. Gotta love the disarms. I was just kind of hoping we could swing on that guy once, but apparently that was not in the cards. And we got disarmed at the worst possible time because she's about to run. Oh, there we go. We did get the hamstring off. How many are we going to pull? Uh, yeah, all of them. Going to do a little retaliation in that case. Since we kind of went into that at lower health than I would have wanted to. Uh, they disarmed us so they can go ahead and just have a little fear there. While we get our weapon back. Did this guy run outside? I'm pretty sure he ran outside. He managed to fear himself right through the doorway. He didn't come back with any help, though. Okay, I'm actually going to eat back to full health. It's been a while since we really had to do that. Did they replace all these pictures? Hmm. Hmm. I feel like some of these have been swapped out. Interesting. 
they're all very distinct and I just don't remember. I feel like if they had always been like this, I would have remembered this room a little bit more clearly, but yeah, a little bit weird. Alright, so... Like, I remember the landscapes. There we go. Uh, here is Andre Firebeard. The only problem is, I, I think this is like a full group pull. Which we could do, but I would really have wanted retaliation for that. Uh, which we don't have anymore. For the next 18 minutes. Let's clear everything else we need. Maybe 18 minutes will pass, and we will be able to charge in there and use retaliation. That would be cool. We're getting a lot of freebooters, a lot of pirates, a lot of swashbucklers. We don't have any dock workers, so I do need to head over to the docks. Well, that was a well-timed disarm. Well, let's do a little bandage here, get some health back. All right, not really what I had in mind, but we can do it. Well, that's good. We're catching up on workers. Yeah, surprisingly, we're actually taking a bit of damage in here. It's probably because we keep doing bigger pulls, but... We could go sword and board. 
kind of want to wait until we can equip the new weapon. That's going to be a little while, though. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll wait for right now. Stick with what we have. Oh, a chest. Hello. You are going to obliterate my remaining uh, inventory space, aren't you? Some healing potions. Okay. These don't heal for very much, so... There's that. Okay, we, we've got some, some issues here. Probably gonna do a big potion at some point, like soonish. Let's do a medium potion. I didn't realize we were just being struck in the back over and over and over again by this guy. Perfect. Perfect. Potions have expired. Let's get that going again. Okay, yeah. Uh, that's why we're constantly low on health in here. Let's do that, uh, and then after a second here, we will get our potions going again. Oh, I guess I've been using the weaker one. Oh. Strength and stamina by 18. Strength by 25. Maybe I'll do the brute force. Get some strength and some stamina. Okay. What do we need now? Don't need any more workers, we need a couple more pirates, some freebooters, and some swashbucklers. So yeah, we're making pretty good progress through these. This might be the fastest I've ever cleared it. Yeah, the disarms though, really annoying. At least if we had a shield on, we'd still be blocking. And yeah, we need one more pirate and we need a few more freebooters. Where are we finding the freebooters at? Huh.
Oh boy. <laughs> Here comes a group of three. Uh, of course they pulled this guy. Thank you. Don't invite me or anything. I'm just gonna bounce around you guys. Oh, there we go. See, if you talk shit, then it'll happen. That's really all we need from them. I mean, we can stick around for a minute to see if we can get some freebooters, uh, but I'm not seeing many freebooters back here. There's one back this way. So yeah, if you're looking for freebooters, behind the buildings is where they're at, it seems like. If you want to find a bunch of them all at once. Otherwise, they're just kind of scattered about here and there. Yeah, the annoying thing about being in the group is that we can't loot everything. Uh, they're not back here to loot what we're killing. We're not out there to loot what they're killing. That is kind of the annoying part. We'll be done here, uh, though, momentarily. We need pirate hats. We'll probably be able to go loot everything that they have left laying on the, on the ground, and I bet we'll get our, our hats from that. Because they are certainly out there fighting stuff. But yeah, kill quest complete. I don't know how long it was, but it wasn't even long enough for retaliation to come off cooldown, so it could not have been that long. Let's see if we can get some hats here. I guess I could kind of stick around and help them out. Uh, we, we might get our hats faster that way. We might just get all of our hats right now and not need to bother with it.
I'm, yeah, let's go turn these in. I was thinking maybe we hearth, but yeah, we're not going to hearth because none of these turn in back in the gadget stand. They all turn in at Steam Weedle Port. But yeah, we're going to turn these in, and then I think I'm going to take us back over to Feralus, and we'll pick things up there. We have this Screecher quest. What I am worried about with it is that I think it takes place on the far western side of the zone. And I don't know if any of our other low level quests uh, in Feralus take us over that way. Uh, well, we have Ogres. That, that takes us into like the middle part. Dark Ceremony? I don't know anything about what's going on there. I want you to find the Gruduni Orb. Okay from mage lords. Uh, we need to veer more this way. Uh, we're about to hit 50, which seems unbelievable. I, I'm, I'm constantly in shock. Every time we level, I feel like I'm in shock because we're leveling really quickly. We're doing everything really quickly because of the amazing gear we've been given and uh, how easily it is, how easy it is just for us to tear through groups of enemies. Uh, I don't have to plan as much which speeds up the kill rate even more. And when we do plan, we can plan for big things, as opposed to trying to pull things out, kite them away, drop them off of us, and all that other fun stuff. That happens when you are undergeared. I, I keep saying it, but I, I need to get back into Zelfarak and finish the quest that we have for that. Um, yeah. Need to do that pretty soon before it is irrelevant content for us. No, but you can take these hats. They're wet for some reason. I don't. I don't know why. Uh, okay, let's sell all of our junk that we didn't drop on the ground. I'm probably going to keep the leather working patterns because uh, our shaman is a leather worker. So yeah, let's let's hang on to these. I'll put them over here. Okay. Uh, what else needs to go? Stamina, intellect, and spirit. I should probably just hang on to like all male gear and all shaman stuff and just send it over um, to my bank alt for now and then to the shaman when they're at level for it, assuming that I'm going to remember to check, etc. Uh, these small potions, I'm going to get rid of these. Okay. And yeah, we can get Endless Rage now. We generate 25 more Rage from damage. So yeah, just 25% more Rage generation. We're probably not going to have many Rage problems going forward. That feels really good to click that last talent, guys. Whew. Hey, how you doing? Uh, nothing we're going to want here, right? No. Keep it real. You need something? Uh, this is a breadcrumb to Booty Bay. I'll grab it. It's it's free experience. I don't know that there's anything else in Booty Bay that we're ever going to do, but we can get some free experience when I have some travel time. Uh, so we'll take it. I'm gonna run us back over here, and then yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna hit the flight point back to Feralis.
Yeah, the lowest level quest that we're going to do here in Tanneris is going to be level 47. So we have a long time before we have to worry about that going gray or worry about getting it done. I'd like to come back when all of this stuff is green. That could be a plan. Or we could bounce back and forth a little bit more. But yeah, we're going to go back over to Feralus. And you know what? I'm going to I'm going to use some editing magic and I'm just going to do a cut here. I'm going to drink some coffee. And uh for you guys, no time will pass. And yeah, here we are. See, I, I said no time has passed. That's not true. I mean, moments passed for you guys. So there's that. Uh, what I want to do is I want to go see if we can get this second splintered log uh, from this guy up here. Let's go check on that. What do you guys have left over here? Sunken Temple quest, which we're getting close to being able to do. Strength of Corruption. Anger Claw Grizzlies. Uh, what's our quest log look like? 18 out of 25? Yeah, let's go ahead and grab this one. Well met. Being a hunter, I strive to emulate the strength I see in my opponents. It is possible to turn the battle in your favor by simply knowing your enemy well. In a place called Fellwood, north of Ashenville, the creatures have been tainted by a substance called Fell. The bears and wolves have been driven mad by it, but I believe that they have also grown even stronger as well. Travel to Fellwood and face these beasts. Learn for yourself if they are truly as strong as I believe. Okay, a Fellwood lead-in. Fellwood. Oh, 52. Okay. Have I mentioned that I love horde leveling? I mean, I feel like we're, we're never going to be at a lack for places to level. We're going to get to Outland easily. And then, you know, once you're in Outland, you're never going to do all the quests in Outland to get to level 70. It's just, it's not going to happen. You're, you're never going to complete all those quests. So we're looking for a tree ant. Could be milling around the trees as they are wont to do. But he could not be here at all. That's kind of also like what we've learned is that just because it marks one doesn't mean there's going to be one. Yeah, I don't see one. It's just going to be one of those quests that are difficult to get it done. It's level 50, so we have a while on it. But yeah, okay, we are gonna have to head out to the western side of things here. We can do Screecher Spirits, and then we can come down and work on the Ogres. Uh, let's, let's do that. You know what we might want to do, which would be really smart? Oh, we, we, it's fine. We never changed our innkeeper to Tanneris anyway. So we're all set. We don't, we don't have to go back. Uh, inventory is okay, so we don't have to worry about that either. We are good to go for a change. Yeah, we could fight Gorduni right here, but I am going to come up here to the north, and I want, I want to do the Screecher Spirits. 
think we have to like slay them and then use an item on their corpse. And I remember not knowing about the item the first time I did this on, I think it was the human priest. And yeah, it was one of you guys that let me know that we needed to use the item. Now the question is, am I going to find any? Hmm. There's mages here, but these are not the Gorduni that we need. Okay, there is a Screecher, single. Can you get these as hunter pets? Because that would actually be amazing. Okay, so before we skin, let's do this. There we go. That's how it actually has to be done. Oh, hi. You ignored us that whole time. And now what? You're feeling left out, a little bit lonely. Yeah, they don't like giving us too many of these things, do they? Uh, interesting. Hmm. Here we go. Oh, and look at that, there's a tree ant over here. Perfect. We can't skin him. We, we can't skin him until we use the item. Whew, that was close. Okay. Uh, we need to track this treant down. Before he gets away. He's like content to lead us through all the wildlife. And we got one of the metallic fragments. I'm assuming we can get the metal fragments from a different type of enemy. Somewhere else, maybe? Alright, we do need to find one more of these creatures. Oh, we can skin the body. Uh, do I want to fight the bear? Not really. Not for one skin, I don't. Although they like putting these guys right next to bears. There we go. And there we go, that one's all done. We only need three. When you know how to do the quest, it ends up being really simple. Uh, yeah, we can get metal fragments from some other stuff, but I'm not really sure what. Maybe these are just all tree ends. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. We'll have to figure that out later. For now, we're going to head over here, and we're going to work on Gurduni Warlocks, Maulers, Shaman, Orbs. Yeah, everything Gorduni.
It's probably a good time to mention it because if anybody is actually watching this far into the video and is paying attention, then uh, you're probably more of the people that I'm talking to. But yeah, I just want to thank you guys so much for all the support, not just on this series, but on any series that you've watched. It really does mean a lot to me. I, I've finally gotten to a point where I can justify spending three and a half, four hours a day working on the channel. And I really love that. Uh, we've been able to be more consistent with these playthroughs. I've been able to add a Guild Wars 2 playthrough that I'm enjoying. And I'm only able to have that time and devote that time to it because of the support that you guys have shown me throughout the last couple of years. So thank you guys so much for being here. I really don't talk enough about how how life-changing it kind of is for me to be able to do this more and more and uh, you know not have to do other things. So, yeah, I don't I don't usually get into it very much, but I just want to say thank you guys for being here. Uh, because you let me be here, and here is where I want to be uh, more and more, as much as I can. Uh, I want to be here hanging out with you guys. Exploring the worlds that we love. Finding new worlds to love. All that stuff. Uh, Warlocks, Maulers, probably can't pull too many of these guys just because, you know, casters are going to be a pain by not following us around very much. They're going to sit there and hurl Shadow Bolts at us, apparently. We don't need the Brutes, we need the Maulers. I'm going to tag as many of these guys up here as I can. I think the shamans are all primarily going to be down to the south, but we can grab all these guys up here. Now these shaman, what are the odds that they have a heal? Probably pretty good. With mortal strike on them, even if they heal, they're not going to heal for a lot. I remember the shamans being the hardest to find. But I don't know if the objectives were the same for the alliance as they are for the horde, so it could have been a little different. That was close, but I didn't want to blow all of our rage on an execute. I said shaman are hard to find. We walk into an area with like five shaman just hanging out together. Of course that happens. 
I don't want them to cross heal here. I would really rather only pull one at a time. That was a big old whiff with Mortal Strike. It's gonna cost us a little bit here. Oh, we got him before it went off! <laughs> oh, that was so close. Okay, the Mage Lords we need not for the kill quest, but we need them for their orbs. Yep, we need their purple balls. It is true. Pretty sure they're purple. Oh, we don't know yet. He did not have one. We don't need the Warlords at all. I, I don't know if we will ever get a quest to fight the Warlords. It's possible, I guess. Alright, let's see if we can find some more Mage Lords back here somewhere. Battle Masters we don't need. I have to assume that we'll, we will come back for Battle Masters and stuff like that. Scroll of Intellect. Yeah, we don't need that. We'll just get that out of our inventory. Hmm. Oh, it's because we only need one. Okay, for some reason I thought we needed ten. Well, that makes sense why we're not getting any. It's gonna be a very small drop chance. Still need a few Warlocks. And whatever's out here in the woods, the, it apparently drops uh, the Metal Fragments and the Resilient Sinew that we need. Is it just going to be Wildlife? Apparently I'm in my chat tab and not my immersion tab.
Yeah, right now the only guys up are really guys we don't need. We can go for the Shaman here. He's gonna come with a buddy. We've made our way into some, like, secluded, hidden little corner of this place. I wonder if we can get up here. Ah, uh, this guy might be coming down to us. Yeah, we, we can't quite get it. I wish we'd have waited till he was further back to, like... Oh, we can't even get up to this guy at all. We might be screwed here. Oh, no. What did I do? Okay, let's pull him down. If he'll even come down. Yeah, there he goes. I should have charged him when he was further back. That might have got us up the hill. It would have been nice to get up there. Would have been nice. Uh, I see battle masters up there. It's back here. Warlocks we need. Finding all the specific ogres that we need might take longer than killing all the pirates we had to kill. This will be our last shaman. Although we're not exactly lacking for shaman, look at all the shaman around. We're going to have to kill some of them to hope that they turn into warlocks. It's too many shaman. Ah, that's probably not going to be great. Okay, it worked out. We stopped him from healing his buddy. And from healing himself. So yeah, big win. Uh, I'd like to find some more warlocks. We need warlocks. We need... We just need warlocks. And we need the mage... You know what, though? I'm willing to wait on getting the orb. I want to see if they send us back here. Because I have a feeling we'll come back for some of the other guys. So we probably don't have to push too hard to get that orb right now. If it turns out that's the last quest we have to do here is get the orb, then we, we'll come back and do it, but... Yeah, that's it for the kill quest here. I want, I kind of want to see what this is, but part of me wants to wait. Uh, I think what we'll do is, yeah, I want to go back now. Let's turn it in and see if the kill quest turns into anything else in the area. That would be a good idea.
hey, this time we found her right away. We didn't have to go hunting through the entire village to find her. Strength and honor. You've proven yourself to be a trustworthy and dependable ally. Well, oh, that's that's it. So, yeah, she is not sending us back right now. Uh, over here you have the Sunken Temple quest. So, yeah, guys, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and we'll take a little bit of a break here. Next time, maybe we'll come up here. We can, maybe, I mean, if we're not going to go back down here for more ogres, we'll come down here. We'll, we'll maybe try to finish these up. So, uh, let's see. We have quite a few things scattered to the northwest. So, yeah, next time we'll, we'll tackle the western half of the zone and try to get all that stuff wrapped up. See what it chains into. We could grab this stuff. This could take us a little while to complete, but we'll grab this as well. That's going to be a couple of quests that happen right along the coast. So yeah, still plenty of stuff to do here. I feel like we're definitely going to get level 51 here. Between here and Tanneris, we're probably going to get level 52. And yeah, I mean, after that, the sky's the limit. We can go to the Hinterlands. We could apparently go into Felwood. We have to be getting to a point eventually at level 55 or so when we can go into Winter Spring and Silithus. So yeah, we have tons to do. I'm really excited uh, as we get closer and closer to bringing this character into the Outland. So yeah, thank you guys for being here. Again, I really, really appreciate it. It does mean the world to me. So take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again really soon. Bye now.